In this video, we're going to have a look at converting between units, focusing on volume and capacity. Before we start with volume, I'm going to remind you that in the chapter on measurements of two-dimensional shapes, we had a look at converting distances. Here, you should know that changing from kilometers to meters, you times by a thousand. From meters to centimeters, you multiply by a hundred and centimeter to millimeter, you multiply by 10. And all these values still apply, but now you divide when you go in the opposite direction. We also had a look at converting areas. An area is measured in any unit squared. And that means that all the values we had for distances will now have to be squared when converting area. So changing from square kilometers to square meters, you will have to multiply by a thousand to the power of two, which means you will multiply by a million or six zeros. And the same goes when converting to centimeters squared and millimeters squared. In the next video, we're going to have an in-depth look at determining the volume of three-dimensional shapes. For now, we're going to practice converting between different volume units. The volume of a shape measures the space that it occupies, and that is measured in unit to the power of three, or cubic units. So, to convert from kilometers cubed to meters cubed, we are going to take the original thousand, but this time repeat it three times. So, we'll multiply by nine zeros. Next up, if you want to convert from meters cubed to centimeters cubed, you will also take the original value, which was 100, and then repeat that three times, multiplying by six zeros or a million. Lastly, changing from centimeters cubed to millimeters cubed, we'll repeat the 10 three times, so multiply by 1,000. And still you use the same values, but divide when you move to the left. Let's have a look at some examples. Example one, convert 17,000 cubic centimeters to cubic meters. For this conversion, we will have to divide by 100 three times, which means we'll divide by six zeros or a million. This means we need to move the comma six spaces to the left. And here we've moved it five already, which means we'll have to add a zero to move it a sixth time. And that will give us 0, 0,017 meters cubed. Example two, convert 23 centimeters cubed to millimeters cubed. So here we'll have to multiply by 10 three times, which means we'll multiply by a thousand. That will give us 23,000 cubic millimeters. We know that volume indicates the amount of space that a shape occupies and it is measured in cubic units. Another way to measure this is called capacity and that describes the amount of substance that the shape can hold. This is measured in liters. This means we need to be able to convert between different liters. For this we make use of the same descriptions as with meters. But we don't use centiliters often, so we'll ignore that one. You need to know that from kiloliter to liter, we multiply by a thousand, the same as you would have done from kilometers to meters. Then from liter to milliliter, you multiply by a thousand again. Because remember, we have that centiliter in between. And from liter to centi, we would have multiplied by 100. And from centi to milli, another 10. And still, when moving in the opposite direction, we will divide by the same value, and in this case, divide by 1,000. Example, convert 4,830 milliliters to liter. This means we will have to divide by 1,000, meaning we'll have to move the comma forward three spaces to get 4,83 liters. Because both volume and capacity 
describe what you can hold inside a three-dimensional shape, you should also be able to convert between the two. For this, you need to know that in one cubic centimeter, you can put one milliliter of liquid. One cubic centimeter is more or less the size of a normal dice, and inside that, you can fit one milliliter of liquid. One cubic milliliter is the same as one kiloliter. Example one, convert 40 milliliters to cubic centimeters. All you need to know is that one milliliter is the same as one cubic centimeter. So 40 milliliters will also be 40 centimeters cubed. Next, we need to convert 4,500 liters to meters cubed. Here, you need to realize that we need to convert our liters to kiloliters so that we can compare our kiloliters with meters cubed. So now you need to know that to change from liters to kiloliters, we have to divide by a thousand. And that means that 4,500 liters is the same as 4,5 kiloliters. This will then be the same as 4,5 meters cubed. In example 3, we need to change 240,000 cubic centimeters to kiloliters. And again, you need to realize that I first need to change my cubic centimeters to cubic meters so that I can compare that with kiloliters. To do this conversion, you need to remember that changing from cubic centimeters to cubic meters, we need to divide by 100 three times. This means dividing by a million and moving the comma six places to the left. This will give us 0 0.24 cubic meters. And this we know is the same as 0 0.24 kiloliters. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to calculate the volume of three-dimensional shapes.